Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and here on Gluten Curious, I make videos about gluten-free lifestyle, sensitive skin, and eczema. In today's video, I'll be reacting to a video put out by the National Children's Hospital about how to start a gluten-free diet. I've been gluten-free for over six years and I can tell you the ins and outs of being gluten-free. I'm gonna to react to this video and see if there's anything valuable that I can add to the conversation. All right, if you're curious about how to get started with a gluten-free diet, let's find out. Welcome to the Diabetes Care Complex Kitchens at Children's National Health System. I'm Vanessa Weisbrod and I'm here with Laura Hashiguchi and we work with the Celiac Disease Program. Today we're going to talk about getting started on a gluten-free diet. So Laura, what does it mean to be gluten-free? Well, going gluten-free means avoiding all products with gluten in them. <laughs> um, gluten is found in wheat, barley, and rye and any product that contains a derivative of one of those, um, one of those foods. And for individuals... The only thing I'm going to say here is that oats are often cross-contaminated. So people typically add that to the list of things to avoid, but there's also gluten-free oats available. With celiac disease, going gluten-free is, you know, a lifelong commitment. You can't even cheat with a little bit of gluten. So not even That's true. Um, I didn't think I was that sensitive to gluten when I first started going gluten-free, but I think the longer that I've avoided it, the more sensitive I've become to it. Not even a crumb. Not even a crumb. It really is the only way to treat celiac disease. So if I go to the grocery store... Oh, the other thing is I don't have celiac disease. Um, there's a whole range and variety of conditions under the umbrella of non-celiac gluten sensitivity, and I'll do more videos about that later. With a newly diagnosed family, what types of products should they be looking at? Yeah, so again, anything that contains wheat, barley, or rye. So a lot of the products that are going to contain those are going to be more of those carbohydrate-heavy foods. Um, so a lot of the, you know... Rice. Rice is always good. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> Cereals, crackers, pasta, those sorts of things are, you know, pretty standardly going to contain gluten, but also some that might surprise you a little bit. Um, there's some marinades, you know, malt thin. Oh yeah, teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, croutons and salads, that was like my favorite thing. Um, what else? Twizzlers, like candy. Um, yeah, lots of candy has gluten in it. Vinegar, malt contains gluten. Um, even soy sauce. Oh, malt is in Whoppers. That's like my favorite candy, but it contains gluten, unfortunately. And so do Twizz- wait, I already said Twizzlers. What's that one? Twix. Twix is also one of my favorite candies that has gluten, so I haven't been able to eat it. Even some soups could have a wheat flour as their base. So there are a lot of things people need to watch out for. Definitely, there's a lot of things you need to look out for. So if I go into the grocery store and I pick up a box of uh, graham cookies, uh, what do I need to look for to find out if it contains gluten? Yeah, that's a great question because, of course, the label isn't going to say this contains gluten. So you need to be looking out for those wheat, barley, and rye. So, for example, this first ingredient in this one is organic whole wheat flour. So we know that, you know, whole wheat flour is going to contain gluten, so we know it's something that we're going to need to stay away from. So you always need to check food labels very closely. You always need to check. I've gotten in trouble with that a couple of times because there will be food in the gluten-free freezer section. I'm like, oh, it's gluten-free. Pick it up, take it home. Um, I, I've even like cooked a whole pizza before I realized I'm like, this looks like really good. Is it actually gluten-free? And then I realized like I never checked to look in the box. Turns out has gluten in it, so my family enjoys pizza instead of me. Food labels, and for a full list of ingredients that you need to stay away from on a gluten-free diet, you can check out the Children's National Celiac website where there's a full list. I've been okay at checking stuff. Um, I get bad when I'm in a routine and I like just get used to eating the same stuff over and over again, so I don't really check new things. This is pretty bad, but um, I always check for wheat flour um, or like. Anything that says wheat, um, and if it's oats, I'll specifically make sure it says gluten-free as a product. There are some products that are processed in the same facilities as things with wheat. I typically don't listen to that, but with someone with like anaphylactic shock, if they eat gluten, like that's important to look at too. Are there any foods that gluten could hide in that wouldn't be like on a grocery store shelf? Yeah, gluten can really hide in some even non-food products. For example, really? some medications or multivitamins might be made with wheat or gluten as a filler in them. 
I heard that there's um, sometimes a coating on tablets that actually have gluten in them as well. Um, also some cosmetic products like lip glosses or lip balm. I can't do any makeup. This is au naturel right here. Might contain gluten and you're getting it by putting it on your lips. Even in some toys that your children might be playing with like Play-Doh. Wow, so. Play-Doh contains wheat. Just had to reiterate that because I thought it was so annoying. I mean, I love Play-Doh as a kid. There's probably gluten-free Play-Doh out there now. So making Play-Doh at home with rice flour might be a better idea. Than might be a better option. Yeah. So now that we've talked about what we can't eat, let's talk about something a little bit more fun. What we can eat. So what products are naturally gluten-free? Yeah, there's actually a lot of options for those on a gluten-free diet. There's a lot of foods out there that are naturally gluten-free, and that's going to be fruits and vegetables. I'm so bad at eating fruits and vegetables, which is probably why I've struggled a lot with a gluten-free diet. But I'd say over time, I've gotten better at eating fruits and vegetables. And that's my parents will laugh. That's still like barely anything. But cucumbers count. Any meat that's not breaded or processed. Eggs, most dairy, like milk, yogurt, cheese all gluten-free, nuts. There's a lot of really good options out there. So now if we want to go to the inner aisles of the grocery store, what can we eat? We have a lot of different types of flours like rice flour, almond. So this brand over here, Bob's Red Mill uh, flour, they have a lot of gluten-free uh, flours and products um, that I love for baking and cooking. So I would highly recommend those. Meal, coconut flour, um, flaxseed meal, teff flour, just the list really goes on of all these different flours that you can bake with and make all of your favorite products that you might have made with wheat and just, you know, make them with a gluten-free. So now if you want to make gluten-free products, can we use all of these things in them? Yeah, you can use them or, you know, manufacturers <laughs> have used them for you. And so a lot of your favorite foods, you can actually find a gluten-free option. You know, if your cereals, pastas, um, granola bars, cookies, all those foods that you like to eat already, likely there's a gluten-free option out there for you. One of these products, like the gluten-free version of those bunny cookies. Oh, Annie's. That brand, I don't like it. I think I tried their mac and cheese ones. It was like really gross. But I haven't tried any of their other products, so I'm not gonna judge. Mm -hmm. before. How do we know these are gluten-free? So we can see that they're labeled gluten-free on, the, um, on the packaging. And you can trust that um, if there's a uh, labeled gluten-free that um, it really is gluten-free because the FDA has actually set a standard of 20 parts per million or less in order for a manufacturer to label their product gluten-free. So it seems like it's a really good time to be gluten-free and lots of options and probably more gluten-free options than gluten-containing. Definitely. That's one thing I would say is probably right now is the best time to have a gluten sensitivity because there are so many options like there's already gluten-free pastas gluten-free breads um lots of things are already available so now that we know which foods are unsafe and safe let's talk about things that could be questionable yeah so there's definitely some items that aren't quite so cut and dry and so we just want to go over those really quickly so you know one we mentioned earlier is that malt vinegar contains gluten whereas most vinegars like basalmic vinegar are actually naturally gluten. I actually didn't know that malt vinegar had gluten, so you see you learn something new every day. Hopefully you've learned something new from my video. If you have, please give this video a like, comment below what you learned, and don't forget to subscribe. Same with we mentioned, you know, soy sauce and, you know, teriyaki sauce earlier. Oh yeah, soy sauce, off limits. There is gluten-free soy sauce. Um, I would highly recommend not eating out at Chinese food places. I love Japanese food, like they have sushi and poke bowls, but um, almost all Chinese food dishes have soy sauce in them. Um, and so I would just stay away from that unless you're making those dishes at home with gluten-free soy sauce, or they specifically say that they're making it with gluten-free soy sauce. Also with eating out, they're not gonna be as strict with cross-contamination as you would be at home. Some versions you're gonna find are gluten-free, some aren't. So when it comes to soy sauce, is the naturally gluten-free one made with just soybeans and the gluten-containing one a mixture of soybeans and wheat? This might sound really dumb, but I did not know that soy sauce was made from soybeans. What's, what's the black stuff? Aren't soybeans like green and soy sauce is like dark brown or black? 
I have no idea. I'm going to look into this more later. Exactly. So you're going to need to be really careful to check that label to see whether you're getting one that contains wheat or not. So with the teriyaki sauce, would the problem be that the gluten-containing one uses a soy sauce that isn't gluten-free? Yeah, quite possibly. But you actually need to be careful about a lot of marinades. A lot of them can use um, flour or wheat flour as a thickener. So now what's the problem with soups? Yep, pretty much that <laughs> same thing with uh, going back actually to the stocks. Some of the stocks are made with a wheat or a gluten containing product. So here we have, you know, this one soup that contains wheat and um, so then also contains gluten, whereas this one here is gluten free. And this one, let's see, what is this one thickened with? Yeah, it's thickened with a rice flour, so that makes it naturally gluten free. So the manufacturer. I think xanthan gum is also a thickening agent. I'm not sure, but xanthan gum will be in a lot of products when you bake. Um, in order to help bind ingredients. Sure, use one of those alternative grains we talked about. Exactly, yeah. Now with oats, why, if oats are naturally gluten-free, are these not gluten-free? Yeah, so oats are naturally gluten-free, but just in the way that they're processed, they're almost always contaminated with gluten. So you do need to get gluten-free certified oats. Um, but we have two different types. There's, um, you can have instant oats, like you might like to eat in the morning. And those are, again, just gonna be, um, naturally gluten-free that you were looking for the certified gluten-free or we have cooking oats so if you're looking to cook with them um, so there's definitely a lot of good alternatives out there so the rule of the day is really to check food labels very closely to make sure you're picking a gluten-free version of whatever food you're buying yeah exactly you definitely have to be really careful to read everything through well thank you so much Laura for all of this very valuable information and if you want to learn more you can check out our website at childrensnational.org slash Celia <laughs> So that's it folks, hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of these to kind of get a couple different perspectives on gluten-free diets, we'll be watching TED Talks, um, other people who have stories um, that line up with going on a gluten-free diet. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below any other videos you want me to see. Um, don't forget to subscribe and check out some more of my videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time.